they were my mother-in-laws um, and they were in the bank mm -hmm. and it wasn't until after her death 12 years ago that we discovered this jewellery in the bank. So. I'm going to start from the most recently made piece and then I'm going to go backwards. Right. I'm going to start with this one here. Emerald and diamond brooch, that very geometric rectangular look would date that to Art Deco. Yes, this is yes, absolutely, absolutely right for around about 1930. Yes. And during that time, you know, firms like Cartier and their contemporaries were making very, very linear looking jewellery. But the emerald in the middle of this piece is a lovely dark blue-green colour and it's just the kind of colour that the market most looks for. Now, the earrings here, emerald and diamond earrings, are a totally different thing. They are in Victorian gold and silver settings, where the stones themselves are individually mounted up in gold, and they've got diamond frames where you've got these old Victorian cut diamonds, probably around about the start of Victoria's reign, 1840, 1845. Now we move on. Look at that. They are... Super. Oh, They're wonderful. Stunning. Emeralds in canateal gold settings. Canateal is a word that we use to describe this kind of very complex filigree scroll work. Now, if I can turn it over and have a look at the back of it, there's the canateal work, and there at the bottom is a hook. And suspended from that hook might originally have been something like a larger cluster. The stones themselves are individually foiled. And that's another thing to bear in mind. They've got this uniformity of bright grass green color, but we might find that if you were to remove one of those stones, it has a tin foil behind to enhance the color. Mm -hmm. The actual necklace itself, we can date to round about the reign of William IV, that sort of period. Really? So it's that early. Gosh. I'm very taken with that. So, value. Now, the Art Deco brooch is wearable, top quality, platinum mounted, at auction, it would probably go up to round about two and a half to three thousand pounds. The earrings, emeralds and diamonds again, I'm noting the old cut of the diamonds, but they are exquisitely commercial. Mm. One would be expecting them to make maybe four or five thousand. Um, Moving on to the necklace, I think that if it was offered at auction, it would probably make about £8,000. Really? Yeah. So add those together, something approaching 15 to £20,000. I'm thrilled you bought them. Thanks very much indeed. Mm.